What's up my friends, 915 Mang here. We're gonna go to Javier's house to pick up a few things. Go ahead and kick back and enjoy the ride. Bad business. Everything else looks okay. No, it's already cracking right there. Huh? Mm -hmm. I think it's still going to turn the pool. Oh, shit. All because life hates me. Yeah, it's time for a new tank. Time for a 120 or a 150. That's why we're here. Let's get some clothes. I think it looks like shit, but... Mine, mine. Sorry about that. Mine. Oh shit. What the hell happened to your SPS? Dude, they fucking took a fucking crash, man. Scanner broke as well. Oh, really? Yep. And with me working as much, I didn't notice it. How many heads does some of my bitch has? I don't know. It's mine. Ha <laughs> ha. Peppermint, you are worthless. Hell no. Will you? Not in my tank. Shouldn't be If I catch him, I'll give him to you. Here's your pegs. How are those uh, battle tools doing? Uh, seems okay. I haven't killed them yet. Hope I don't. Oh, that's bad boy. <laughs> My glasses are going good. Just kill that worm later. Yeah, the chalice and that uh, for the both chalices, the watermelon and the rainbow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the front. Nice. That looks which one is that one? Watermelon from uh, Unicos. Oh, nice. As you can see, I got a few things from Javier's house. I always get hooked up over there when I go. I'm going to go ahead and dip these corals just in case they have any Asturinas. Uh, I can't afford to have Asturinas in the tank just because. Uh, they eat my corals. I was lucky to pick up this innovative marine gourmet grazer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this a try and see how it goes. I think my tangs will love it and uh, I'm excited to use it. Also picked up this magnetic rock. It's a purple rock. He had been trying to sell it to me for a while and I kept telling him that nah, it's whack. But uh, upon better review and looking at it, it has a nice magnet and it's rubber. Um, it's really nice and it's purple. Came with a little frag plug on there. And I'm going to go ahead and stick this on the back wall of the 180. So I take it back. It's not whack. It's actually uh, pretty nice. Thanks, Javier. So if you want one, let me know in the comments below. I'll tell Javier he could ship it to you. If you're in El Paso, you can meet him and he'll sell them to you. Speaking of frags, I've been fragging quite a bit. You can see all the white discs right there. All of these are in the 20 gallon tank. I um, also made some uh, frag racks out of the black egg crate. Good old super glue and uh, mag floats. Super glued them on because I need more room in the uh, 20 gallon for some frags. The uh, dollar per gallon is going to be happening at Petco. I told the wife that I needed a 40 gallon breeder and she said no. So that's why I went ahead and made some uh, extra frags. Just to try to get the most retail space out of this uh, 20 gallon long it's really a nice little tank and uh, you know what it only cost me 20 bucks what she doesn't know is that I went ahead and put an order in with uh, Marine Depot I got this big container of rocks point a carbon from Aquamax this thing does not look big at all probably to you guys but I'm telling you it's the size of a puff uh, container those big old chips also picked up some frag racks 
Um, I have been eyeing those uh, Aquamax Frag Racks for a while. Uh, I got the big hole one and I got a corner one. And I got something else for the 180, which is these uh, Reef Welder. I did a video on that. Make sure you watch that if you have any questions. Um, but if not, you just add hot water to that and you can uh, aquascape anything. Now, I haven't been running any type of carbon or GFO in my tank. Uh, the reason why is because I was too lazy to hook up a nice return pump. A nice return pump is in the making, but I just wanted to go ahead and get a cheap, easy Aquamax uh, reactor. The pump goes on the bottom. This is the uh, larger size, or the M for medium, and it comes with the Cichi pump, and uh, you can run GFO, you can run carbon, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and run something else. Supposedly you can run bio pellets, but uh, personally, I hate bio pellets. I am dosing this reef tank with uh, vinegar, and uh, vinegar is just the same thing to me for carbon dosing. The thing is, this uh, reactor is an internal reactor. Uh, you put it on the inside of your sump, or it could probably even fit my 20-gallon uh, long. But as you can see, it's easy. You just twist the top, pull the media, and you can dump it into a bucket, put some clean media in there, and you're good to go. The thing is, I'm going to go ahead and change it up. Um, I want some Kimmy Pure uh, from uh, Danny's Reef Tank, the Kimmy Pure Blue. He, no, I'm telling you, man, I got hooked up in contests lately this year. And uh, this one is good for 75 gallons. I'm going to rinse this out and pit it in the uh, new reactor that I got. And as you can see that sponge, the water is coming out to the side and uh, I can completely submerge it or I could just leave it like this. And I think I'm just gonna leave it like this because it doesn't bother me. I have it in my skimmer section and uh, I'm finally gonna run some carbon. Since the 180 has been up, I haven't uh, really ran any carbon except for when I did some Kimmy clean. Uh, I just had it in a in a pouch next to the return pump, and that's it. But now I got a legit reactor, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, run some carbon GFO later on. I want to go ahead and give you a closer look of these frag racks. Uh, very nice corner frag rack right here. Hold up with two magnets, powerful. There's some washers right there, and uh, I like it because it's clear. Uh, it's really clean, and I'm going to go ahead and be fragging some sticks. That's why I put it on this one. Uh, the bigger frag rack that I got, I might put it in the 20 gallon long. Uh, but we'll go ahead and keep keep an eye on that and see if I do or not. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the 180 towards the back wall. We'll see if I get used to it or if I go ahead and take it out altogether. I, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep it though because uh, the T5s hit real good in that spot. And that's where I want to go ahead and stick uh, sticks, some SPS later as it grows. And just go from there, let it grow right there. Um, in the 20 gallon, I might get some better frag racks later on, uh, but uh, for now I'm just going to go ahead and keep it like this. Uh, you can see I got this one from Blue Tide Acrylics, doing really good, but I just needed something to hold a little bit more frag racks. I did want to go ahead and show you how I made my life a little bit easier with this uh, Brute container. Uh, I went ahead and mar made the marks a little bit more readable, all the way to the 20 gallon. 15 gallon, 10, and 5 gallon marks. Um, this doing this is just easier for me. It allows me to keep an eye. And since uh, I already hate doing water changes, I want to go ahead and make it a little bit easier for me so that it's not such a big deal when I do them. I do want to show you something else which is pretty cool. On my uh, 180 gallon tank, the biggest water changes that I've done is uh, 20 gallons, um, 25 gallons, but at most I usually do. 20 gallons. So what I did on the side of the glass, I marked down the 10, the 15, and the 20 gallon mark. And as you can see, the water line is lined up right at the 15 gallon mark. And I'm going to go ahead and do the go all the way down to the 20. Uh, that way, in case I can't see my bucket, I just look to the side and I'm good to go. Now, for those of you who are still with me, I know it's already nine minutes into the video, but I'm going to go ahead and give you an update of the SPS that I picked up from uh, Battle Corals. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at those. I never claim to be an SPS master, but I am working on it. So first things first, 
Uh, I'm going to give you a nice close-up of my coral and uh, the bad news. I always go with the bad news first. I killed this guy. It's totally white. Um, don't know what happened to it. It looked a little faded, but um, I killed it. Uh, onto the other ones. Uh, these ones are doing pretty good. This one kind of looks more yellow during the daytime. And right now it's looking a little bit more green. And uh, I've ha I, this is one I picked up from uh, Reefer's Garage. Another one I, I picked up from Reefer's Garage. This one's kind of cool. Looks a little bit better at nighttime. You can see the uh, purple tips. Also from Reefer's Garage. And uh, it's still alive. Had it for a couple of months. This one is doing good. I think I picked this one up from D. Uh, when he gave it to me, it was blue. Then it's turned like a green, but you know what? It's bouncing back. Talking about another SPS that's hanging on to deer life. Only the tip of it is alive. The rest of it, you can see the body is browned out, dead. And uh, this one, though, when the lights are on, uh, it looks really good. It's blue. The Where the purple part is, it's blue, and then the rest is turning green. But this one right here, also from uh, Reefer's Garage. Still alive. Well, you know what? This one is from uh, Battle Corals. The tip of it is uh, purple. So that's pretty cool. Now my uh, red planet right here, the tips are the only part of it that is red. Looks bright pink during the daytime. And the rest of the body of, is, of course, green. I've had this one for a while now. And uh, still alive. I wish it would uh, turn completely red. And uh, hold up to his name of uh, Red Planet. The next coral that I picked up from Battle Corals. Uh, you can kind of see that I use that uh, Aquamax Reef Welder right there. I like uh, using it. And it came out pretty cool. But this is the Forest Fire Digi. I'm hoping it takes off and does some good uh, growth patterns. Because this part of the rock is uh, kind of boring right now. But uh, a nice Digi like this will go ahead and take off. And I elevate it because I have a bunch of uh, Aptasias on the uh, bottom. I want to show you these zoas that I picked up from Javier uh, showing them how they look at night and they look pretty cool. Everything else is doing good. The Gatorades right there. Uh, I got two heads on them now. When I got it, actually I got three heads. When I got it, it was just one head. Um, the Blastos that I picked up from him also doing good. I'm hoping that the center stay uh, dark blue and not turn green. But if it does, uh, no worries. But it would be sweet if it just stayed dark blue. Um, this piece right here is a part of an SPS that I got from Reefer's Garage. And uh, I haven't taken it off. But you can see that it uh, encrusted on the plug. So hopefully it takes off in a couple of months. Another nice piece right here. This one's looking kind of boring right now at night. But it has some nice dark purples in it. And you can kind of see it, but it's uh, green. It's like purple and green. My Duncan's right here, still holding up. I put it in that reef welder, and they're doing good. Uh, at first, they were kind of upset at the, the space that they were at. This bonsai coral right here, another piece that I picked up from the uh, reefer's garage, doing good. And, of course, you can see I have a ton of GSP right there in the background. My little rose anemone right there, as long as it stays in place, I'm going to make a little acan garden right here. Hopefully they fill out. I'm going to take off those button, green button cloves, green button uh, pallies. And the last piece right here, this piece has actually been doing pretty good during the daytime. It's more like of a gold color. Right now it looks kind of cool, but uh, it's doing good from also from uh, Reefer's Garage. Well, guys. I'm not going to hold you up any more longer than I already have. I really appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe. Hey, share the video. And uh, you guys take care and have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.